Thank you for returning or for stopping by for the very first time to Mama Gay's Country Gardening. Ah, wow. You know what? Every day is a new day. I know we say there are no two days the same in the world of a gardener. All right. Today, we have temperatures of 66 degrees. 66 degrees. Did you hear what I said? You know what I said? I heard what I said. Oh my God. You talking about excited? Mm. Overjoyed. I saw kids outside. I haven't seen children outside since I don't know when. Okay? Everybody trying to get the cars out. I just kept going back and forth to the front door. Like, this is really beautiful. This is really beautiful. This is really beautiful. That's me going in and out the, into the front door. So, I just want to say welcome to Mama Gay's Country Gardening. I got, I got stuff for us to talk about today. Uh-huh. I'm so glad to be able to bring this to you today. We still have spring just around the corner. Not too far away. We can actually see clearly now. We can actually count the days to spray on one hand. Mm -hmm. So, I'm in zone 6B slash 7A. And I want to tell you, I can start thinking about potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes. I can start thinking about excuse me, planting. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about all this. So, well, what are we going to do, Mama Jay? What we're going to do is we're going to Read the scripture for today. And then we're going to look at potatoes. We're going to look at potatoes today. Okay? I'm going to talk to you about, just to mention to you, my new seeds that I've received. I'm always doing something. Okay? I'm going to describe these trays to you and tell you what they're all about. But first, let's talk about scriptures. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So the scripture today is from Isaiah chapter 61, verse 11. And it reads as, For as the soil makes the sprout, the sprout, For as the soil makes the sprout come up, and a garden causes seeds to grow, so the sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Ooh, okay. You know, you can find scripture in the Bible to talk about anything and everything that's related to today. Scripture for everything. Because God already knew what was yet to be to come. Okay? And so he the word is written. It doesn't get any clearer than that. So Welcome to, to Mama Gay's Country Gardening. And if anyone is a returning uh, viewer to my channel, you know what this is. Mama Gay's Gardening Journal. The Gardener's Journal. 
you should get yourself one of these books or take a um, spiral book and create a journal for yourself but you need a journal and you keep records of everything that you purchase in terms of garden supplies and seeds who those vendors were or are the websites that you you visited in order to make the purchases if you did um, your 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 garden nursery, whichever one in your area that you go and you purchase from. Um, yeah, you want to put it all in here. The date that you planted a seed, the date you started your seedlings up, when they germinated, how many days to maturity. All that information goes in here. And and you know what? It's very helpful. So, please, make sure you, 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 you make a record of all of your progress. In, your, in what, I, what this is called a bar note journal, and you can make your own, all right? But please, please do it. I can't say it enough. You can't depend upon your, your memory, you know? And, and, and I'm going to tell you something else. Now, we're talking about keeping records. So, I have a little package here. My older daughter ordered this from me online, and I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to tell you, these are, these are little, these are steak tags, these are tags, okay? So, it also has a waterproof marker. Now, I have other ones, and you'll see them later. But they're white and they're plastic. They were purchased from the dollar store. And I used them and I was very happy with them last year. And I'll use them again this year. But here's the difference. When it rains, snows, the marker, the, um, the marker gets washed off. So we purchased last year, got even better with it, a uh, waterproof marker. And it lasted throughout the entire summer. But there are some items out there that I had labeled and were sitting in the snow. And now that the snow is all melted away, I know what I had in those particular beds, in those particular containers. I know what I had in there because, what? I have it recorded in my gardening journal. And I have a floor plan back that tells me exactly where I have everything at. But I also have these labels in there. And the snow, while you're sitting down on the waterproof markers, labeled tags, it's all washed away. So, <laughs> I hope this... This marker that came with this package, this is bamboo. Can you see that, Kimberly? Bamboo, and this is a waterproof marker. It's supposed to be a permanent waterproof marker. So this is something we'll try out that came with this. And we'll talk about it as we get later on into the season, okay? So I'm gonna put these away, but I had to show that to you. Okay, so that's the labels. All right, I'm just going to put that over here. All right, so where do we start? Well, why don't we talk about the seeds I have. I have some new seeds. I'm gay as always collecting seeds because I love variety, remember? So now I have Burby Sweet Corn. Silver Queen Hybrid. Now I have some some other uh, white sweet corn seeds. And we'll talk about corn another time. Um, of all the varieties that I have, I'll do one video of all corn. But here's my Sweet Corn Silver Queen Hybrid. Okay? And this says it germinates mm-hmm seven to 14 days 
can take 92 days to harvest. But anyway, that's that one. Okra. Oh boy, how I love okra. But this is Hill Country Red Okra. Okay. Mama J loves okra. And I hope by the time I finish with what I have coming at you on okra, that those that believe that they don't like okra will at least try again. Try again. All right? It's very good for you. Bunching onion. Bunching onion. Bunching onion by Burpee Evergreen Long White. That's what these are called. Okay. I have some of these already growing in the garden. And, um, I like growing them because I cook a lot. So I just go out there and snatch up some and chop it up. Put it in my food. Give it away. But anyway, here you go. All right, now this is this is a pepper that I enjoy eating. You just you can buy it in the market in a jar, just green, and just pop them in your mouth, or you can cook with it. But this is called pepperoni pepperoni seedy pepperoni seedy pepperoni seedy. It's a pepper, and this is from in my garden. Here. I'm looking for, I haven't grown this one before. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, last but nowhere near least is Tropical Sunset Tomato. It's like a cherry tomato. Okay. And Mama J has a little problem with actually bringing cherry tomatoes into the house, smaller tomatoes into the house. Because as I harvest them, I'm popping them in my mouth. Uh, maybe I'll get over that this year. I doubt it. But anyway, tropical sunset tomatoes. Like an orange color. All right. Okay. Let's move on. I mentioned to you previously about catalogs and how I order um, different free catalogs. And this is one. Uh, this is Journey's, Journey's Seed and Nursery Company catalog. Very colorful. This is actually the company that I ordered my potatoes from this year. My potato seeds, okay? So, I'm just letting you know that this is where it came from. I was very happy with their order. Um, and I've ordered other things from them, too. And, and, and so I ask you to check them out. Okay? Just check them out. And they constantly send update emails to me, too. I receive emails every morning about the latest sale, about some other varieties, um, free shipping if you order a certain amount or a sale code to enter. They have fertilizer in here. They have, they have a lot. Okay. All right. So enough of that. So I mentioned journey for two reasons. Because we're going to talk about potatoes. I have my package that was delivered today. So I said, whoa, time for a video. So I saved to open this, this package with you. I'm going to talk about potatoes. But before I open this package, I have store-bought potatoes here. Camelade, do you see that? Store-bought potatoes. And I'll tell you what I did. I let them sit and process so they can go through the process of shifting. Oh, let me spell that because Mama J can be guilty of not being able to say some letters. Uh, you know, I've, I've been doing public speaking uh, more than 45 years in my career. I'm retired now. And I got to leave you with a little tiny small story. Uh, I know you've seen by now, and if you are a returning viewer to my channel, the two miniature 
um, dogs, okay? I have three dogs. Two miniature dogs. They are half Chihuahua and half Poodle. And I don't know which half of them did what they did, but my two little sisters, about four weeks ago, I was in the middle of a video and uh, took a break from that video and, and, and to have a small meal. And I took my two bottom, please excuse anybody that may think is concerned, but if that's the least of all you got to deal with in this life, <laughs> accept it. But I got to tell you, Mama J has two bottom teeth that are, I call my artillery. Okay? The, the partial plate down here in the bottom. So I want you to forgive me if you get to see the vacancy in my mouth. But I'm proud of me. I want to tell you that. But I want to tell you this. So, so I took my artillery out of my mouth so that I can have a small meal. And, and, and as I took them out, they dropped on the floor. Yeah, they did. Oh, Lord, I can see it right now in slow motion. So, the two uh, miniature dogs, that is Evie and Tallulah, you'll see a lot of them, quickly jumped down across the floor and snatched them up. I don't know which of the two got it, but they hid my artillery somewhere. And God knows them, the $2,000 that I paid as a copay to have that dental work done. I don't even know where they are. I think they, they I, don't, I haven't found their hiding place yet. So anyway, so Mom Jay, since I'm missing those two artillery, and I keep trying to get little kids to donate their bottom two teeth to me, but I, I don't know why they don't do that, because they can get them some more. But anyway, that's a funny. I, I, I can be guilty of not pronouncing words correctly. So I want you to forgive me in advance. And this is about the only video that I'm going to mention that on. So my potatoes have, these potatoes have chitted. That's what I say, chitty, chitty. This is called chitty. C h i t t i n g. All right, okay. Chitty. So these are chitty. Just a little. That's what you see in there. It's a process. So I let these chit. And and then the next thing that happens with them is I can do. One or two things. This is really interesting. And I'm going to attach, I'm going to have Camera Lady attached to a, a picture of my little great nieces. They planted um, store-bought potatoes in our home at the end of the summer from which they harvested in the fall. And I'm going to attach a picture of that harvest. But it's interesting, if you plant a whole potato, such as this, into the soil, that whole potato, and we proved it here in our home, will produce smaller potatoes. Abundantly, but they will be smaller potatoes. I'm gonna show you that. So if you want small potatoes, your preference, Okay, then you would plant a whole potato. Is what I know. Okay, if you ask 100 people anything about gardening, you can receive 100 different answers. But this is what I learned. It's actually what we 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 uh, produce. Okay, so this is a store bought potato, and we're gonna do it again. Okay. Now, if I cut 
this potato and I can change this into cut this and make small potatoes because I want to cut it where I'll have I can even cut it here I got a nice one here I can cut it here okay but you want to cut where you're going to get some you got new uh, good eyes so I'm going to cut this one here this is another process in um, gardening actually I want all of this because there's another eye right there So I have an eye here, a small one. I got all of this going on up here. And there's another one small there. So now in the next phase, that white meat in there. The next phase of this is curing this potato. I'm, I'm doing all that. So how this happens is this takes about five days. But it's the cure. Okay? It'll turn brown all in here. All this will turn brown. And it won't be fleshy. Like this is fleshy. If you put it in like this, it'll it can rot out underground in the soil rather. Okay? Guess what? You want it to cure. So now. So I'm going to do this to all of these. I'm not, I'm not going to do all of them. I'm going to do some of them. Some of these will um, be cut, be cured. Here's one. Here's another one. Okay. And there are tiny eyes here. I can do these too. All right, I just made another one. And one, two, three. I'll leave this one like this. Okay? All right. So I'm going to cut some of them. And some I'm going to plant whole. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to have uh, one or two of my junior gardeners to help me with this um i think i will if i can if i can get my hands on um a couple of my great nieces and great nephews they like hanging out in mama jay's country garden so i think um i think i'll leave this for them to do and i still have time because we're expecting some rain uh, in about six more days so um, we're going to let this cure. All right. So that's what's happening here. Now, if I plant, I remember I told you a whole potato. I'm going to get a lot of small potatoes. But cutting the potato in small pieces, where the eyes are, I'm going to get larger potatoes. So I'm going to see how that works out again. I'm looking forward to that. All right. I know what happened last year. You know, uh, we're going to see. All right. I got a box here. I'm going to open my box. I'm going to move on. Okay. And they're potatoes. I've been waiting for my potatoes to come in from Journeys. So I'm going to open this up. First time. Last year, I ordered my seeds from uh, Haas Tools, and this year, I ordered them from Journey's Seed Nursery. I have a great uh, niece who lives in North Carolina. Her name is Tierra, and Tierra is growing Haas Tools potatoes this year. Okay, all right. A lot of stuff inside here. So what did I order? Let me find out. Okay. I have a bag of Nicola. Nicola. Here's Nicola. Here's Nicola. You can see that. And a bag of 
red gold potato. Okay, so here's red gold, and here is Nicola. Now I want to tell you a little something about Nicola. I'm gonna set this box down. I think it's let me see. One of these I was really excited about. I told you before we have health concerns and and we work very hard on our bodies here and praise God we we have some miracles that occur in my family right here in my home and I'm so grateful. But everything we do is to make sure that we eat healthy and this is what saved my daughter's life. Okay, um, the fact that we eat healthy. You got to know what you put in your body. So, uh, my older daughter, we worked very hard on her health. And um, for four years, she was on life support. And she still is. But she's also doing, making excellent progress. And that's about all I'm going to tell you. But everything we do is to ensure that our bodies are healthy. And that's exactly what keeps her in this side, in this side of the world, okay? And so we're thankful. And prayers, we always uh, have gone up for Latoya. And I want to tell you that every day that God gives us is a very special day. So I'm telling you this as I show you these potatoes. Potatoes is doesn't always agree with every diet, okay? But I'm trying something here. This Nicola potato, that's this one. I'm going to open this bag, okay? I'm going to open this bag. Here is one. This potato is a low glycemic index potato. That's this one. Okay, what does that mean? That means... It's less than starch. That means the carbohydrates for this potato is lower than the carbohydrates that's coming from this regular store-bought potato. Okay? That's what that means. So, I'm going to grow this potato because I want to see what it's all about. I really do. Okay? So, here... Here is a Nicola potato. This one is a red gold potato. I'm going to open this up. It's a red gold potato. And I know it's in this book someplace. It's in this book. Okay. So this is a, what did I say this was? A red gold potato. Okay. I told you about the Nicola. Nicola, I'm going to give you the description. Let me go back to Nicola. I found it. It says it's a nutty tasting potato that's Atkins approved. Nicola is an early, is an early harvest potato. All right. When we trailed these medium-sized, well-shaped oval potatoes, we knew we had to add them to our lineup of superb tubers. A beautiful golden yellow inside and out. Nicola has a mild nutty flavor and is great for baking, boiling, or roasting. The flesh is firm and holds up well in soups and salads. Low glycemic index means it's great for low carb diets. All right, so this is the potato I was telling you about. And then I have the red gold. Yeah, red gold potato. And let me see where that says. Okay, red Pontiac. Hmm. Okay, so in the catalog for journeys that I received in the mail, I'm not finding the red gold, the red gold potato in in here but I did google it and and I went on journey's website um, and the description is here okay and what it says is a favorite early season variety 
thin red skins and delicate yellow flesh. Excellent roasted, mashed, steamed, and fried. And produces high yields. All right. Red skinned potatoes with delicate yellow flesh have a taste and texture unlike any you have tried before. This wonderful early season variety is high yielding and semi moist with moderate resistance to scab. Excellent for making roast, scallop, mashed, steamed, or fried potato dishes. So, there you have it. Okay? So, so we're, 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 this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to allow these potatoes to chip. Remember I told you about chitting. Like this. And this is going to take about four weeks for that process. And they're already starting. Looks like some of them here. One in here. See? That already started to chip. This one. Okay? And let me see if it's in here. There's the eyes are there, but I don't see them chitting yet. So, I'm going to put my book away. Now, let me tell you about what I have over here, and we're going to come back to the potatoes. Okay. What do you think these are? Can you see that camera lady? You see that? These are very special. All right. Now, these are trays. Kind of deep. Now, you've heard me mention my dearest sister and her husband, Larry and Diane. Well, Diane is always thinking about me. We've been friends for more than 50 years. Um, and, oh boy, I love her to pieces. But let me just tell you, you're going to love us too, just as much as I do. And I keep talking about her. But let me show you. She thought of me. She saved these trays for me. These trays had meatballs in them. And she was thinking, huh? Mama Jay can use these. So they came over our home and shared the meal with us most recently. And gave me these trays. And I jumped up and down as if they gave me a gold watch. I did. I immediately thought, oh my God. I can use these trays to sit my potatoes in. See that? Now, Diane was thinking, oh, Mama J will use these to use as startup trays. Well, I could. I could. But I, I told her to keep eating meatballs so she can get me more of these. Keep eating meatballs. So her husband said, well, how about we bring you some meatballs in the trays? And then you make us a meal with it. I said, however way you want to do it, follow me. Just would you please make sure I'm a gay and get some more of these trades. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, let me tell you how neat this is. So I'm going to just stand them up like that. And another one. These are going to sit in here and shut up. Mm -hmm. That's what they're going to do. Yep, see that? I'm going to stand next to that one. Where I wanted to come out at. Oh, this is cool. This is in there. Okay. Oh man, I almost got oh, one type of door. Oh, let me try to get that one in there. How's that look? That's creative, right? Okay, now I'm not gonna do all these right here, but what I am gonna do is show you, give you the idea of how it's gonna work. And then I'll keep you abreast of it. Okay, now this is in the cooler. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can put that. Put that like that. Put candy. And then. Okay, and I'll do the rest. I won't take up your time. But I'm getting started. So thank you so very much for hanging out with Mama J and Mama J's Country Gardening. 
We got more good stuff to come. God bless.